This is WWJ Whipping with Joe. Anyway, I'm whipping here, and a lot of people are asking me, like, most of the times I'm fishing on the rocks. So I'm going to show you a technique that I use for uh, on the shoreline where you got sand. Uh, normally, I say when you're facing the ocean, this is 12 o'clock over here, 11, 10, and 9. Then you got one, two, three o'clock. So you got nine and three, 12 o'clock is straight in front of you. I normally don't throw straight out because I'm traversing, I'm moving. Uh, if I find in one area that I like, then I'll stay there. But uh, I'm going to show you the technique and what I, uh, what I know works. And uh, a lot of people are asking me how I do this thing. And I thought I'd share this with you. So anyway, we got a half ounce. You can use heavier. That's up to you. Uh, I don't normally throw far. It's really close. Why? It's because the fish is right in front of you. They're not normally out there. They're feeding right. All you see is white water right in here. They're, they're, they're feeding right in 10 feet of water from here. So I normally throw. This is 12 o'clock. One and two and three. I normally throw at two o'clock or one o'clock. Because what I'm doing good is that what I say is like this is like a 90 degree angle from here to there, you would throw it at a 45 degree angle, which is almost like 1 and 2 o'clock. And you're moving in that direction. If you go in that direction, you would throw it 45 degree angle in that mode here. Like about 10 o'clock and walk out. I normally don't stay. Why? It's because I'm trying to find the fish. So I throw it at a 45 degree angle, like around 2 o'clock, 2.30. And I crank down and I pull up. Crank down and pull up to 12 o'clock. It's because the lure is on the bottom. This is what you want. You want to catch papio and all that? Well, that's up to you. Papio will normally will feed on the bottom also. But if you want to cut, get papio, just throw it up there and just retrieve it. You're bound to catch a papio. That's the most plentiful fish. Probably in the state of Hawaii from the shore. I don't target that fish. <clears throat> but, uh, so again, this is 3 o'clock, so you go at this is 2 o'clock, so you're going to throw it at 2 o'clock move. You don't have to throw far. All I do now is crank down and pull up. I'm walking, I don't stay still. I'm, I'm whipping and moving actually. Crank down and pull up to 12 o'clock. Crank down, pull up at 12 o'clock. When you're cranking down, you're dropping the rod also. I say, if the fish is there, I say, you're trying to find the fish. You know, a lot of people are staying in one area and then trying, trying to wait for the fish to pass you. You know what? You're better off moving because why is the fish is trying to find food? And they're always moving. So when you find them, then they're normally feeding in that area for the most part. Maybe you'll find out. You'll, you'll catch a loner, but, it, you know, it's just part of fishing. Uh, so you crank down, they say, pull up. And I'm walking in the meantime. Crank down and pull up. So basically, your egg lid is actually on the bottom. On the bottom of the, the ocean here, the ocean floor. Now you can do this on sandy bottom. When you get rocks, it's a little more technique. You, you, you can't let it stay that long. Like I said, this beach is long here, so it's probably about a mile long, almost a mile long if you're gonna fish this beach. But these little beaches like these, you just gotta go and find the fish, so you gotta move. And so that's my technique, whip and move. Now we're gonna get into a rocky area here, so you gotta retrieve a little faster and pull up a little faster. Otherwise it's gonna snag. So we're, 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 we're whipping and moving. Whipping and moving. We're gonna see if we can find one laying loose here. timing. Got to find them. Got to find them. A lot of waves, a lot of ocean. A lot of ocean, a lot of ocean. It's almost the same way as the seaweed. You let anything float around. Same as what you're using here, using a grub. I'm using a two inch grub, half ounce weight. That's what I normally use. So we're cranking down and pulling up. 
Cranking down and pulling up, bringing him in with the waves. Like I say, if they're there, you're going to hit them. You know, that's about it. But like I said, you got to find them. You have got to find them. You have got to find them. Like are there any fish? You've got to find them. I'm using a shrimp here. Or a firecracker. Firecracker is a shrimp. Remember, I'm using four. Four colors there. A lot of places traverse here. So if they're here, they're here. They're not here, they're not here. Just timing. So if you cover a lot of areas in this path, in this fashion, you become more productive. Plus, it's good exercise. Plus, it's good exercise. So hang down and pull up. 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 Hang down, pull up. Very simple. Almost the same with seaweed, like I said. You're not just cracking straight. The reason is because you want to feel. You know, when you when you drag it, you can feel the rod and the lure. When, when you're dragging it. When you're still up cranking, you can't feel anything. But when you drag it, you can feel the bottom. Real quick, crank down, stop, pull up. Like I said, if they're there, you're gonna hit them. But like I said, it's all timing. And that's why I like my method because it's quick and fast. Try to find them. Try to find them. See a lot of rocks inside here, so I retrieve it a little faster. I can feel the rocks when I'm lifting the rod up. <laughs> 